Back on the Anglers Extra pregame show and back at Veterans Field. Chatham Anglers taking on the YD Red Sox this evening and now the 30th game of the season. And it's also our 30th manager show. Jake Eisenberg alongside, well. The unknown coach. The unknown coach. <laughs> I went with cognito. sunglasses. I went with sunglasses to change things up. <laughs> so it's me, everyone. It's me. It's yep. the skipper, John Schiffer. And that's yep. not the only thing that's changed up. You're also growing out a little bit of a scruff to go along with the got, mustache. We got the, we got the uh, beard working here until we get a win. Um, don't like to do it, but you know you got to try anything for a win. I guess you know we'll try, you know the rabbit's foot, uh, uh, you know the cutting the chicken's head off, uh, you know pig's blood. I don't. Know. We've done we've done everything. I still haven't burned a glove or a bat yet, but I've you know. Now we're just. I tell you what, I really enjoy coaching these guys. They have been just excellent to work with today. They came here and took this silly test through the Los Angeles Dodgers, which I can't understand why we have to do the same test again, but they did it. They, mm -hmm. There's still, still three more days worth of it because it's one, it's 30 minutes a guy. Uh, so they came, they did it, then they came. It took early BP. They're having a great time. They had a great, they had a really, really good batting practice. Really, there was energy. So, you know, there's not a lot more you can ask for. I mean, you just go out. We've got 14 games left, like you just said. And, uh, you know, if they play with the energy they have, there's nothing else we can ask. And, and you count it up at the end to see what happens. And like I said, I can't be more pleased with the way they have worked with us, how they get along with each other. And that's so key in summer ball. So, you know, a few more wins would be perfect. So let's just see what happens. It seems like while this may not be the most successful team on paper, it is one of the more cohesive teams that you've had. Right, and, and the thing is, and we, you know, I, I probably ad nauseum to some people, I always say three things that I want these kids to, when they leave here is that they got better, they've helped us win some games, and they've had the best summer of their lives. You know what, and, and with the exception of not having more wins, I think that there is no question there's guys who have better swings from the time they got here uh, till now. And I think guys have played better defensively. Uh, I think people have made adjustments. Uh, I, I just, you know, I do think it's been a successful summer for them, and that's who it's all about. Well, there have been a few guys that have helped you win so far this season. Two of them selected to the Cape Cod Baseball League All-Star Game this afternoon. One of them is going to participate in the home run hitting contest. Those All-Stars, Isaac Matson and Gunnar Traumwein. What do you think of their performance and the rest of the All-Star selections? Well, it's a, it's a good team. I'd love to coach that team. Uh, <laughs> it's a very good team, and... Uh, you know, it's well represented by those two guys. Uh, Patrick's going to do a great job for us in the home running contest. Uh, you know, I think it's an honor anytime you get an opportunity to be on a Cape League All-Star team. And, uh, you know, good for, good for them. It's well-deserved. They've earned it because of how hard they work, how they performed. Um, you know, Gunner has certainly improved. Uh, Isaac has thrown quality, quality innings for us as a bullpen guy. And that's predominantly the team is made up of bullpen people now because you look at the league statistics and there's more and more bullpen guys getting more innings than the starters because of you know some of the limitations that college coaches are putting in us. And when it comes to Patrick Mathis in the home run hitting contest, when was the last time there was an angler in that derby? Hmm. It could have been, was it last year? I can't remember the participants last year. We def I think Chris Shaw was in it. A couple years ago at Wareham, uh, where was the game last year? Game last year? Where was the game? Where was the game? Was the game at Wareham last mm -hmm. year? It was. So that wasn't Chris Shaw. I can't remember. I, you know, the, in the any years case, fly his, by. His no, we we've, we've been well, we've been well represented in the uh, home running contest in Chatham. I can't remember the last participant, but I know Chris Shaw was in it just a couple years ago. Um, I, I don't believe. Well, maybe was Will Craig in it last year? I think I can't, so. I can't. I can't. I can't. I think he was. Yeah. So we've we've had our share of home run guys at a home run in contest. What do you think of Mathis's chances here with that right field? Port oh, as three, good 14. as anybody's. I mean, we we've stacked our deck here in the Eastern Division. We want to win that. You know, we have bets. Oh, we make wagers. <laughs> we make a, uh, amongst the coaches, <laughs> and we'll be we'll be making wagers, nice little wagers. You know, gentlemen's Coke, bets. Coca Colas and right. things like that with you the know. other division. And we stacked it with some pretty good left-handed hitters. So um, obviously, I hope they did too. If they put a righty <laughs> in there. They're nuts. But uh, uh, yeah, we're we're very pleased with our our selection so it's uh that'll be fun and what is that selection process like we saw a picture this morning at dennis yarmouth high school of some of the coaches sitting around a table you know going over the numbers and everything like that it's it's just a gentleman five gentlemen from our division four five gentlemen from their division and friends 
and Coach Weinstein was the rookie this year. Um, last year, Jamie was the rookie, but, you know, we indoctrinated him well. We took him into our family, the, the, me and Steve and Kelly and Pick, and Jamie fits in well. And it's, it's a matter of, it's very, very simple. You know, you sit down, you say, all right, who has the no-brainers? Boom, 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 boom. Now we've got four, six, seven mm -hmm. no-brainers. They are, you know they're all-stars. Everybody in that group agrees that person's an all-star. Now let's take who has nominations, and you nominate your players. And this coach, you know, I, I'd be more than happy to say I nominated Gunner and Coach Engler from Hardwood said that guy's got to be on the all-star team, and that was it. You know, the other coaches agreed. Um it was that simple, and that's you. We we have that much respect for one another and our our mm -hmm. their players, and you know we're not. It's not about us. It's about those kids and all kids. I mean, and we all know what it's like. The you know how the honor of being a Cape League All Star. I was a Cape League alternate, and I was so happy. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? An All Star alternate? That was pretty cool. Now we're a week away from that All Star game, but we're still ten days removed from the last win for Chatham. Mm -hmm. So with a few games left before the All-Star game here at Veterans Field. What do you want to see out of your team? Well, I mean, obviously more hits, um, more better defense, better pitching, because that's going to make you a better player. Um, I'm, I am not questioning their effort at all. They're coming to the baseball field ready to play, and they play as hard as they can. And that's all we can ask as a coaching staff. That's all I'm going to ask them to do for the next 14 games. And at the end, we counted up and we assessed not the wins and losses as much as are you a better player now than when you were in June? That's what we assess first. And after that, everything else falls into place. And like I said, I cannot thank these guys enough for the effort they're putting in. You know, do you want more hits? Do you want more runs? Yes, you do. And maybe that's not going to happen but their effort has been outstanding. I think these guys will stay in touch with each other for a real long time. There's just some, you, you can feel it. Or they really enjoy each other, and that is so cool. Um, there's nothing better than teammate. I think teammate is one of the most important words in the English language, and these guys are good teammates. Well, those teammates tonight will put forth the effort and try and get Chatham its first win since last Wednesday and maybe give the skipper a shave. shave. He's starting to grow out the scruff like a little it. bit. I don't like it. It's gray. You know, the gray is showing more here than my mustache, and I scratch and itch, and it's just not my style. I'm not a must. I'm not. I'm a mustache guy, obviously. But I'm not a beard guy. So we, we do want to get rid of the beard ASAP. Well, Ship, thanks as always for your time. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Evan, back to you.